Hey guys, Ben here from Bold Slate. In this video, I have an edit and build for you. This is an AI agent that connects to a Notion CRM and it can pull the follow-up records that you should be following up with. For example, I've got this CRM I built here. It's gonna pull the records who are in follow-up stage and then it'll grab their emails and it'll grab the descriptions as well. And it can actually write our emails for us to send these out and save us some time each and every single day. So I have this working to send email drafts, but this could also be sending emails directly to the person, but I wanna review things first. So what I'll show you here is the chat. Who are my follow-ups for today? So you'll see on this right tab, it's actually going to pull the records from Notion and it should now display them back in this chat widget here. And by the way, if you wanna get more complicated with this, and make it even better. You could throw this into a Slack a workspace or wherever you manage your company day to day or your sales. So it's giving me back all of the follow-up records in my CRM who have follow-up as the status. So all of them, as well as some details about each of the leads in there. So now I can say, write the follow-up emails for each of them. And I have this connected to my Gmail account. Let me just pull that up. All right, so the agent just replied and let me know that the follow-ups have been created. So let's see if it actually did get created. Let's go back into drafts. And here we go. Just from one minute ago, I have all five of these. So it's writing the subject line for me. It's addressing it to the prospect. It's writing the whole email. It's using their first name in the email. It's even including my own email signature at the end, which is nice. And, you know, this is just a, a very short demo. So we could have a lot more information going in these fields about the last contact of the prospect, stuff like that. And by the way, I'm using Notion for this, but I almost guarantee that the CRM you're using or the tool you use would be available natively in NADN. For example, Monday's available, ClickUp is available, you know, HubSpot, like all the main CRM tools are available in here. So it's a pretty similar workflow. And what I'll do now is I'm gonna show you how to build this from start to finish. If you want to skip building it out, I have this available for free in my school group. You can join it for free and get access to a bunch of other templates and you get access to me to ask questions as well. I have a link down below if you want to join. Otherwise, let's continue and let's actually build this thing from scratch. All right, so I've got a brand new workflow and I'm going to add my first step in here. We'll do a chat trigger here. That looks good. I can just add the AI agent next. So I'll type in AI agent. And next step, I'm going to add is adding in the AI chat model. So we can choose from all of these different options. I'm gonna use OpenAI, it's the easiest one. I already have my credentials in here as well. If you don't know how to do this or you don't have this already, there's plenty of really short videos on how to do this. Just go ahead and grab your API key and throw it in there. For the model, I'm gonna use 4.1. I wanna eliminate all of those hallucinations if I can. And next up, we'll do the memory. This will give the agent's chat history up to whatever number of messages we put in here. So I'm gonna use like, let's just do eight or so. So it'll recall eight of the last messages in the chat, which is useful to avoid having to repeat ourselves often. The next thing I'll add is gonna be a couple tools. So we're gonna add the Notion tool right here. And if you're using like HubSpot or if you're using Monday, you know, you'd add your tool in here. It's probably gonna be very similar for this process. And if your tool is not listed, by the way, like if you're using Go High Level or something else, you can use this HTTP request tool and you can connect to the API of the tool. So you'd want to go in and figure out the endpoint URL to put in here as well as the body information. So it's a little bit more involved of a process and it's not native, but it's not that hard. So for tool, we're going to use Notion. And now I'm going to show you how to get this credential as well. So I have this credential here already connected, but I'll show you how to do this from scratch. So we're going to add a new credential in here and we're going to need to get this internal integration secret. The same process I use for all of these credentials is usually to start with the docs that NADN has. They're pretty well documented. I'm going to go in and find this link to the Notion integration dashboard. Cool. So once I have this, I'll do a new integration here. I'm going to choose the workspace I want to use. Type can just stay internal. We're not going to be using this as like a public app. And I'll put a name for this as well. So I'll just do number four. I'll save it. So for the settings, nothing will change on the capabilities. I have to show this key, copy the key. We're gonna stick this right into the internal integration secret right there. 
So there's one more step to get this to work. We actually have to add the connection to the databases of our choice. So in this case, I'm gonna connect this to my CRM database there. And I'm gonna go into this top right. We'll do connections. I'll do manage connections. Ah, okay, it's right there. I have to just choose number four right there. So I'll just choose this connection number four, confirm. And we should be all set to actually access this data with our Notion integration on the agent side. So I have the Notion part almost done. If you wanted to give the agent multiple Notion nodes, you might want to specify which one to call. So you could say like, use this when you're trying to access XYZ or use that when you're trying to do XYZ. So I'll keep this automatic. It's a pretty simple workflow. Credentials are done. Resource is going to be a database page because we're pulling information from each of these pages, right? So I'm going to use database page. Operation is not gonna be create. We're gonna actually get many. We're gonna get a bunch of different records at once. The database is gonna be CRM for me. Once this loads, CRM. So I could return all of them, but I could also just return a specific grouping of these. So I wanna return only records that are in my follow-up stage. So I'm going to just put a filter on this. So the filter is going to be build manually, must match all filters. And the filter is going to be property name status, condition equals follow-up. Pretty easy. All right, we should be done with this now. Next thing we can do is add our Gmail step. So Gmail is a little bit more intensive in terms of the credentials. There's plenty of videos on this, so I'm going to skip over it because it's a little long, but you know it's not very hard to do. Just look it up, how to connect and it end to Gmail. You can get your credential that way. And then for tool description, the same thing. Automatic is fine for this use case. The resource, we can choose to either send messages just right away without reviewing them first. And we could tell the agent, hey, before you send anything out, show it to me in the chat first. But I think the most safe route is usually to go with drafts. So the resource we'll use is draft. Operation is create. Subject, the nice thing about this is I can just click, boom, let AI decide the subject. Email type is text. Message, same thing. Love any then, I can just do that. The to email, I'm gonna add that as option, same exact thing. And I think that should be all. Yeah, that should be good. So this will create drafts for us. It's gonna add the subject, the recipient, and the message itself. So we should be good there. And we're almost done. So I'm going to do active and then I'm going to open up the chat and I'll say, show me the follow-ups. We're just going to start this from scratch. All right, cool. So here's the follow-ups and all of this looks correct to me. If I go in and verify, yeah, it looks the same. So I'll say, send out follow-up emails to each person. So it'll kind of just, you know, try its best to think of what to send these people. It has no prior prompting or information on how to actually do this. But it says the follow emails have been created for each contact. I can now go into my demo inbox here. I believe it's this one. And let's see if that did work. So 1019 is the current time. And I have five emails at 1019. So it did definitely work. Follow up on our discussion. So it's giving us its best attempt at an email without any instructions. So not bad. I wanted to follow up regarding your interest in SEO agent. So yeah, not the best email. I mean, not terrible, but now we can work on improving the email outputs. So the way to do this is going to be to go back into n and And now we can kind of go into the brain of the agent. So within the AI agent, if I double click on this, you can see here that there's no area besides the system message, which is not that good of a place. We actually want to change the source for prompt and we're going to use define below. So with define below, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag over the chat input. And we can just say like, this is the user's message. And then below that, we're going to add in instructions. I'm using the hash symbol, by the way, because this is markdown format for header one, which means like important. So I'm going to go down a line here and I'll say when sending follow-up emails, always 
do the following. And I could bullet this out and I'll say, end it with this signature. And we can do like, thank you. Cool, we can do that. Aim for two to three sentences and always end the email with a funny joke. You know, just to show you that this anything can be done with this, right? So that should be good. Let's just make sure there's nothing else I have to add. Yeah, should be fine. So I'll do save and I'll just say, try sending those out again. All right, so it created those new emails for us and we can go and check those out. If I go into my drafts now, current time is 1021. I've got five emails I'll fill up out of the last minute. So perfect. Okay, let's see. So hi, Craig. Wanted to see if you had any questions about WordPress automation. I'm here if you need more info. What do you call fake spaghetti and impasta? And it has our signature at the end as well. So perfect. Not the best jokes in the world, but as you can see, it's following our instructions. It's checking our CRM and creating nice personalized follow-ups for each of them. And all we had to do was send a couple messages with an AI prompt. So a pretty nice little build. And you know, this is just a basic demo for me to show you how to build the thing, the foundations of it, at least the potential for this is really large. You could have a whole sales team using this and not just this, but a much more developed version. So hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you want more content just like this. And don't forget to join the school group down below for this template and for many other templates and access to me to ask questions. And I'll see you in the next one.